morning, Estimate our School. Hi, my name is Link. And I'm Sarah. Today's Thursday, March 14, 2019. Please stand out for the flag salute. Ready, salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Thursday in the cafeteria featuring chicken patty, grilled cheese sandwich, or a ham and cheese salad. Sounds delicious. Let's go to Isabella with the weather update. The rain assures us that we are going to have another sunny day. Now let's check the three-day forecast. Thursday's going to have 60, low 49, partly sunny. Friday's we have 62, low 44, clouds and a couple of showers. Saturday is going to have 54 or 31, partly sunny breeze. Now let's go to the main desk. Who likes to watch ice hockey? Can you imagine if you could only listen to an ice hockey on the radio? On this day, back in 1923, the first ever complete radio broadcast of the hockey game is recorded. Let's check out what's happening in Esla Manor School this week. National Nutrition Month continues with a healthy living tip of the day. Did you know that, a, that our vegetable of the month in the cafeteria is a potato? Move over, banana, because the potato is full of potassium. One medium white potato actually has 25% of the daily recommended intake. With our St. Bodrick's Pediatric Cancer Foundation fundraiser coming up this Monday, the donation jars are starting to get filled. Try to see if your class can bring in the most donations before the big day. You never know what may happen if you bring in the most money. An update from Mr. Capazola tells us that our Esso Manor has reached their goal of $3,000. <laughs> Congratulations! Play practice is back this week with practices after school today and tomorrow from 3.30 to 6. Please check the call sheet in the hallway for more details. Pi Day is today. Our activities will begin at 155 in the gym. But first, let's check out this video about Pi Day. Anymore, that's not good at all. When I say they're irrational, if you think it's mathematical, they'll know the magic's with the constant 3.14. to give all of you guys the chance to participate in this afternoon's fun. We will select one student from each grade to play. If you are not picked and do not want to participate, please see Mrs. Romano this morning so we can pick an, a different student. Now here we go. From 8th grade, Alyssa, 7th grade, Patrick, from 6th grade, Madeline, from 5th grade, Nicole, from 4th grade, Lainey. Oh my goodness. <laughs> from second grade Mia from first grade Brayden from kindergarten to all those students. Coming up 
next week, the Student Council will host a dance next Friday, March 2nd, from 7 to 9 p.m. March 22nd, from, from 7 to 9 p.m. 7th and 8th graders, please do not forget to bring in your snacks and drinks for the snack stand. Chaperones are still needed for the dance. It's that time of year to order your yearbook. Orders are due by April 15th. You can order online by going to the website listed on the screen and entering the code 1456019. Order now to keep these memories forever. If you would like to share your pictures or stories on the morning news, email us at eslamanermedia at gmail.com. Finally, let's show the joke of the day. What is a math teacher's, teacher's favorite dessert? I don't know what. Pie. Ha, 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 ha. Well, that's it for today. I'm Lainey. And I'm Sarah. And from, from all of us at the morning news, have a thoughtful Thursday.